What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I'm bringing you another JTAG tutorial and this is on how to install custom themes or skins for Freestyle Dash. Now it's very easy and I'm going to be using Xbox 360 Neighborhood. You can use FTP or put the skin slash theme on a USB stick and can do it that way as well. But for this tutorial, I will be using Xbox 360 Neighborhood and I do recommend using Neighborhood as it's quite quick, um, especially if you're wired. If you're wireless, you may want to do it through FTP or put it on a memory stick. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead in the description and click on the real mod scene skin list. Now this is uh, a website or forum if you like with lots of modding content um, and the real mod scene have been around for a long time and credits for them for everything and uh, there is a massive massive skin list here there's lots of pages and for this tutorial I've chosen the Xbox one skin by game Xbox 01 and as you can see on the screenshots it looks like an Xbox one in freestyle dash and looks pretty pretty cool so I've chosen this one haven't used this before but all you would do is go ahead to the download, download it, extract it. Once extracted, we're going to go ahead and open it and you'll see an XZP file. Go into your JTAG hard drive, wait for the files to load. Next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and find Freestyle Dash on your hard drive. Mine's in my homebrew folder. Once in the Freestyle Dash directory, you'll see a skins folder. This will be here. Well, it should be here. If it isn't, then just create a folder called skins and you should see a default XZP file already in there. Don't worry, that's just the default skin. Simply drag and drop the Xbox One or whichever theme you're using into the folder and wait for it to extract. Okay guys, so as you can see, Xbox One final XZP file has been extracted go ahead and launch freestyle dash and i'll see you on the console okay guys so as you can see i have just launched freestyle dash we're going to go ahead and go up to the setup tab and go into skins and this is where all your skins are stored and as you can see xbox one by game xbox 01 is here so we're simply going to tick this press back and we're going to click reboot now this won't reboot your console, this will reboot Freestyle Dash and as you can see already this has a very nice Xbox One intro and boom there we go guys. So as you can see we have a custom skin installed to Freestyle Dash. We got the temperatures, different tiles, we have the Xbox, the homebrew, um, this looks promising um, I shall look at this and again there is lots of skins to choose from you can choose whatever you like I hope I've helped you in somewhat comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys next time peace